Hi everyone and welcome to authorpublisher.com. My name is Ivan Fuyun and it's Friday which means we're doing Facebook uh, teachings today. The last couple um, Facebook videos including this one I know might be elementary to some but I'm doing this because the way I teach is from the very bottom and foundation and I build up people uh, right to the top where we get to the in uh, the, the really secret stuff and the, the stuff that really matters and that can really build you up but as you may know the higher you want a building to go the deeper you have to build this foundation that's why I'm starting at the very basic stuff of Facebook to really make sure that you got all, all your bases covered and some of the stuff that I show you, you might not even know so hopefully some of you might learn something and I um, encourage people that um, don't find what they want regarding pages to let, just let me know in the comments let's look today at uh, setting permissions so you got your page and you just click there on edit page it's going to take you to this drop down or this thing in the sidebar I want you to click on manage permissions and let me explain everything here quickly what this does is it makes you help manage the security and the interaction on your specific page you may want your page to be a static page where people just get information or you might want your page to be a social page where people come and interact and share ideas and etc etc so let's look at the basic stuff that's available here first of all you can make your page visible to only the administrators of the page which means that it'll be a very secluded sort of page and only a couple of people know about it and then you can have your only your own uh, secret society meetings etc you can tick that or you can leave it open then you might have an offer or you might have information that you do not want certain people in certain countries to know for instance you might have an offer and it cannot ship to a certain country or you might have an offer and supplying it to a certain country is illegal etc so if you have such a kind of page what you want to do is you want to type in the country there to exclude your page from being if ever seen or promoted in that country here you can put age restrictions uh, I don't know why you want to do it because having porn on uh, on Facebook is not really ethical but you might have a youth group or a, let's say you have a young adults group at church etc so you want people from 21 and over to see it and to join it so that's what that that is for then wall tab shows the following that is when people enter no way the wall tab will show uh, all posts okay or they'll just show posts by page which they'll break it up into sections for you um, I think keep this up so you can expand comments on all the stories which means that if there's a hundred comments they will shorten it to, see, to show the first um, to show the first couple comments and the thing will drop down when you say see all comments etc there will be a default landing page that you can set so when people come into the page you can show them the wall where interaction is available or the info page where you might have an offer or information etc etc or you can have a photos that open up all right so for my personal page i'll have it just on on the wall posting ability you can have you you can block users to write or post content on your wall you can block users adding photos and you can block users adding videos obviously when all those are ticked they are still available here you can block certain people there you can block uh, make the sort of the how should we say the restrictions to a certain degree and then there don't press that ever if you want your page to keep on and that's basically the entire permissions uh, page etc it's very important to know exactly what you want your page to offer my name is Alan Fuyun for authorpublisher.com thank you for watching this video and please share it if you can very information very important information